Hello, Chris from My Stamp Lady here, and I'm going to show you today about envelopes. I had asked a question on my Facebook business page the other day if people avoid sending thick envelopes. And one thing that came up was about square envelopes. And yes, square cards, which you put usually into square envelopes, require extra postage. I have a blog post all about what the Postal Service will accept and not. So that got me thinking, how can we get around that? And if you make a rectangle envelope, and you put your square card in there, you can send this as a regular postage stamp. So I set about thinking about how I could make this. So this is what I came up with. Um, and you know, just one thing is I did avoid making square cards because either I didn't have a square envelope or the extra postage but I think this will be a good solution to that problem. So what I did is I started with a, a piece of designer series paper or pattern paper that is 11 inches by 11 inches. I have my diagonal plate, there's a little arrow on there, placed into my Simply Scored. I am placing in my piece of paper. So I figured out that I need to score one diagonal and one diagonal at five and five eighths inch. So I'm gonna find five and five eighths inch and score that one. And then you can use the, the side ones here and go to a five and five eighths inch. It is a little tiny bit trickier, so if you do better on just completely rotating it and using this where you can follow it down, you could do that too. So now give it 90 degree turn, go in, and I want four and three eighths. So I'm gonna come over and find four and three eighths and I have my diagonal plate in here. That's how I'm getting my diagonal lines. And then again, we'll go down to four and three eighths inches on the side. Find that groove. Okay, so there's my scoring. Then the next step is to take a bone folder and just go in and fold all of your scored lines. Okay, so this is going to be my envelope and I'm going to even, you can leave this point here because this is the point that will go down over across at the top here. You can leave this point here, but I have, I just folded it down and then trimmed it off. So I just kind of made sure it was even across there, just gave it a little fold, and then folded that off. Okay, so now I'm going to open this back up, and with my scissors, I'm going to take out this top little corner here. I'm not gonna worry about the bottom ones because that gets folded inside and you don't see it and this one, and then just this little tip that I folded over. And this way you're gonna have a beautiful envelope inside and out. Now before you seal, the beauty of making it handmade is that I tried to make it look like I didn't just use an oversized envelope and that my card will slip all over. So I made a slot for it to slide into. And how I did that is I took my card, I placed it down in the center of my envelope, and then about halfway in between, I took and put a strip of adhesive. Did the same thing on the other side. In this way, it's sealed, so you, the person thinks that this card, or knows that this card was designed for this size and not just an oversized envelope. Now you don't have to do that step, but I thought it was a nice little addition. Okay, and then just go up on the side. And you notice I'm rubbing these quite well, and that's um, just so that this adhesive will stick a little better if it's burnished or rubbed. It kind of helps it hold, it gets it stuck in place. And then you just slip your card into that slot that you made. So my card's not sliding around because it's too big because I put those strips of adhesive on the side and I have my square card in a size envelope that the Postal Service will use one regular stamp for. And you'll also notice that I made my card fairly, I, made, I tried to make it flat so that it didn't have lots of bumps because that's the other thing that the Postal Service machines do not like. 
So I am going to work, this is for a 6x6 six six card, I will have all the dimensions posted on my blog at mystamplady.com. I am going to work on an envelope for a 5x5 five five card, and I'll have that up soon. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to contact me, chris at mystamplady.com. And all you can find all these supplies in my online store. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.